chaotic in Massachusetts. We took the drive for three and a half hours from New York. We're here. I'm here in us seeing Bobby Lynn Jr. Jr. over here. So maybe we'll get to talk to him in a little bit and you know, see what they're thinking pretty much. So, but as you see, I'm at the merch table. Buy some merch, support your local independent wrestlers, make sure you're following chaotic. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Uh, today's the day before June. Yeah, before Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm almost at my final four. I know, I know, Monday. I'm so excited. We saw the post on JT1. Like, Valentine's Day. Ah, sent it up there. He's probably going to be my, my Valentine. Yeah, I love it. You see the merch. You guys got Dave Cole, which I love. T shirts, both Dave Cole. So awesome. Get your own Valentine. I love that. Well, we got a big match. You ready for it? Tonight? Yes. This is our second day with Alex. Let's see where it goes. Uh, Think you're going to get him to love you? I don't know. I don't trust him in it, so. They're always out trying to break my heart. Back with Dom. What's good? What's good? What's good? He's busy. He's very, very busy. So he's doing the, you know, setting up things. Whatever. Yeah. You know. That, that's, that's how he does. So tell us a little bit about tonight. What are you looking forward to? What do you think we're gonna see? We are at the Lexington Elks for charged up. And I'm just looking forward for one match, one match only. That is Gal Parquet versus Flip Gordon. That is gonna be my favorite match of the night. They're both, I think, the top most athletic people here. I think that's just going to be a really good show. How many? Should we start counting them? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's that signature. I can't remember the name of it where he just like goes back and forth like he did with Trigger. Again, that's what I'm really happy for. Too. I hope he pulls that out. So what do you think? Do you think Rich is actually going to be announcing today? I mean, I had Rich on the podcast the other day. I like we were like JT did say that you know he could have his job back, but he got thrown out the last show. I haven't seen him yet anywhere. But again, never say never. Again, if he shows up, again, he's chaotic. Anything's possible. The chaos is always going to happen. But again, who knows what we're to do today. I'll say this. I really did like Jordan. I was like, he was a really sweet guy. He's a really nice guy. Jordan, if you're watching this, I think you're really awesome. Aw, Cal. Guys, one of my favorites. He's been on the pod. You've seen it. Go check it out. So. I mean, what do you think? Doug was trying to make it his Valentine's. Like, your thoughts? Listen, the Pride City OG gets all day. Okay? Do you, you see this face? Do you know how good looking this face is? Do you see the swagger of this voice right here? It's undeniable. I don't need Doug. I already got bad Valentine's in my Snapchats right now. I don't need him. I think I need someone as ugly as Doug. This man is looking for everyone under the sun to give his heart to. No one wants it because he's a creep. No one likes you, Doug. And tonight, I'm going to put my goddamn foot through your freaking skull, and it's going to be over. Doug puts no Valentine's Day for you, boy. You already know the unit's going to defend the tag team championships here at Chaotic. Me and Danny Miles, and no rest. We take it all. This is how we do it. Unit territory. We're gonna kick some ass. My name's Austin. How are you? Awesome. That's good. That's good. So you got a big match. How are you? Main event. Big main event. Main event match. How are you preparing for this match? Look, I've been prepared for Jake's death for a long time. Four years ago, not four years ago, three years ago. Three years ago, this month actually, uh, I signed my contract with Impact Wrestling, and JT and I had a match for Impact Wrestling in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, I was only a fraction of the wrestler that I am now, and he couldn't beat me then. So what makes him think that uh, he's got my number two? Shit to you. I should have been the first member of the unit to be interviewed for your little podcast. So if you want to ask me nicely, maybe I'll do it, or maybe I won't. Well, that's up to you. 
better sweet talk me, because I'm the man, baby. Big boy season. So you had a crazy match. Is, 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 is he okay? Bobby Jr., he went fly. I know, is he okay, though? They cloned him for the special occasion, but this is the actual Bobby Jr. He went flying into the rafters. I know. He almost knocked over the hard cam. I would have got in trouble, but it was Alicia who, who hit him, so she would have got in trouble. Luckily, he didn't hit it. He did hit his noggin, but he's got a big head just like his daddy. So, what are you going to do? He's good. He's hey, good. Chilling. He's good. Can we beat the babies? We got to beat the babies. So, Bobby Jr., I don't question his lifestyle, but for some reason, he just has a bunch of children now. I can't handle them all. So, they're Bobby Jr. Jr. So, Bobby Jr. the third. The third. The third. And I just tell people, well, no, we got a whole bit of them, so there's up to like 2,700. Oh, oh my but goodness. We got to let him adopt. We got, you see this guy adopted one? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Let's go! Ooh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they got to go to good homes. I can't watch them all. I'm traveling on the weekends. But um, yeah. Go adopt to Bobby Jr. Jr. There you Thank go. Thank you, Platinum Dog. Yes, you tell them where, if people want to adopt them, where are they going to go? If they're not at the show, where are they going to get them? Oh, at the show. <laughs> Only at the show? I mean, well, I, I don't know. We may, have, we may have to ship them out, but I think they'll suffocate in like boxes, you know what I'm saying? We, we want to make sure they're alive on delivery. We don't want kids crying that there's a dead goat in their, you know? I'm going to follow the straight and narrow. I've been allowed to have my job back. So thank you, Lexington, for having me. three years ago was evidence of anything at all, then tonight I'm going to walk out of here your new chaotic wrestling head coach. This is usually where we come out and, well, we give you the choice, death by elbow or take the pledge. But seeing as how this is already unit territory, you want to reminisce on a few things. The match you were speaking about at Impact Wrestling, do you remember what the first thing you said to me was as soon as the bell rang? You looked me in my eyes and you said, this is my house.
challenges, champs only. Next show, I'm making a demand. Well, I am the director of wrestling operations. So next show for the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. It'll be JT Dunn versus Biff Busick. Hey Doug, drink my tobacco spit. You know what? Boys, why don't you pick him up? We're gonna sacrifice Love Doug to the wrestling gods. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm not gonna put him out of his misery. Ace, why don't you do the favors? Break his damn neck, because there's nobody here who can stop us.